Jodi Arias, the woman convicted of killing her boyfriend, making news this morning, tweeting from prison about her financial situation. Kristen Dahlgren has more. She is the convicted murderer whose trial captivated the nation. Guilty. Now Jody Arias is back in the spotlight, speaking out from behind bars. In two tweets from her official account, Arias tried to defend herself against accusations she is making money off her crime, writing, that rumor that somehow my family profited from my trial? Absurd. Adding, I'm filing for bankruptcy if I can ever afford to do so. You don't need bankruptcy if you're going to be in prison the rest of your life. Since her conviction, Arias has been selling her artwork online, something she talked about with NBC. It's just one area that I feel I've excelled at in my life. So it's a part of me and it's a part of my life. It's a part of my existence. It's unclear how much she may have earned. Then there was the sensational movie. You did not just hang up on me, hello? But under Arizona's so-called Son of Sam law, convicted criminals can't profit from movie or book deals. So Arias couldn't make a cent off the movie portraying the crime. Arias was convicted of stabbing, shooting, and slitting the throat of boyfriend Travis Alexander. At the trial, she claimed abuse. He was screaming that I was a stupid idiot. And he body slammed me again on the tile. The jury didn't believe her, and now some legal experts are accusing Arias of another attempt at manipulation with her latest tweets. They say perfectly timed before this month's hearing, which could save Arias from the death penalty. Jody Arias is uh, not predictable and certainly not very credible at all. So whatever she tweets, we take with a grain of salt and we look, how does it benefit Jody Arias? For today, Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Los Angeles.